cool Will here and today we find ourselves back in the Skyrim once again after a bit of a short break because I like my breaks apparently but in this video we're going to be looking at two mods okay I already have done all I can with these people I, I, I'm, I, I'm out of here I'm going back to the mobile unit okay but we are going to move on to mod number one which we will find in the solitude and mod number one is Solitude Sorcerer's Loft by Amy Loves Cake. So, you can probably kind of get kind of an idea of what this mod is supposed to like add in or do, kind of thing. And technically, you can actually see it just up there. So we're gonna make we're gonna make my way up there. So but yeah, wait to effectively what this should do. Now I need to I need to see if there's actually a way up there or if you have to fast travel because there is a fast travel point and it is there straight away but what it's supposed to do is supposed to add in basically like a small little area here there we, here we are. oh it, oh it requires a key well i don't remember it saying i don't remember it saying anything about needing a key oh okay hmm Okay, well, I'll go and find the key in a minute. Oh, unless uh, that is over there. You the key? Aha, here we are. Here's the key. Right. <laughs> okay, so I don't need to go off and find it. Oh, at least you know where the key is now. So the, the key is literally basically just right here. So we're going to take the key. Bosh. And there is a letter. Is it, is it long? Oh, it's not that long. All right, so to my trusted students, please enjoy this... Dorm, while you continue your education away from the college, as you know, Solitude already has a court wizard, but maybe when a practice and talent, you'll be able to acquire a job in a different city. Take all the time you need to learn what you can from Sybil. She is quite talented and knowledgeable, so make this time worth your while. Arrangements will be made at a later time to return the key to the college for the next student visit and learn in Solitude. We look forward to seeing you in classes when you return. Top dear. Okay, so they've they've sort of like tied it in to pre-existing game of the game stuff and that because obviously it's left from top there. It's in relation to the it's it has ties to the college in Winterhold, and it's sort of like I would kind of call out the idea that it's a place that you would study away from where you would normally study, kind of thing. So it's almost like kind of like. Oh, it's like long distance learning. It's like it's like if you if you live in one town, if you live in one city, but you go to uni, university, but it's like in the next county, kind of thing. So I like that. You know, I like that thing. And personal stuff, I reckon that actually opens up to there being possibly a little bit more kind of thing. Oh, there's a ladder there as well. Okay, so there's two different areas. So got up there and then there. Down here. But no, I reckon I reckon Amy loves cake. I reckon they should end up actually adding something like this in most of the main cities. I reckon that'd be quite a fun thing to do. But anyway, enough of my waffling, let's go and have a look inside the sorcerer's loft. Alright. Uh, here we are, and okay, so we definitely can't definitely know it is follower friendly. Okay, we got a mannequin. We got some place for your weapons and uh, weapon racks. Okay, uh, just a chest for your pencil gear near the front door. So that's actually quite useful. So if you do suddenly need, you know, if you just want to drop some stuff off, you can just come through the door, drop it off there, go back out, bosh, done, simple, nice and easy. Uh, is there anything in here? Yep, we've got 18 heartstones already, apparently. A whole uh, store and enchant staff. So you got some storage, you staff there, staff enchanter, uh, designed storage. So it's not just simple, here's a chest, here's this, here's that. It's actually, you've got actual designed storage, which is nice. But looks pretty cool i quite like how this looks it's very you know yes yes it is a bit small but you know it's it's a loft it's a loft room it's it's a dorm room it's not going to be huge really is it 
So, you know, but, you know, some people say small, some people say snug. It will all depend on your perspective. Uh, I can't take any of the cakes. Uh, oh well. But you got another one, so you can make your own cakes if you want to. And then you got a place where you stop for your books. Just down the other. Uh, place for your, your alcohol, but let's, because let's face it, uni days. Uh, most students spend a lot of time drinking and having fun, apparently. <laughs> with the drinking. They say it's fun, but they just want to drink. Because they can have them. Because they got wild, they got nothing else to spend the money on already, have they? <laughs> Alright, so I've just came up this basically, there's a ladder here. I've just come up this ladder, so it is all one area, so it's not like a whole new area, because there's Willow just down there. So I could, I could jump back down there any time, basically. Uh, respawns. Okay, so, so it's probably a good idea to, for this lot to not put anything in there. Because, as it says, respawns. Uh, requires a key. What? Oh, uh, there it is. Okay, well, that's weird. Okay, so you got a bunch of gems there, which is nice. I mean, it would have been it's a bit odd to have that locked, but then have the key right there. You know, that's a bit odd, but, you know, maybe it's a touch for immersion kind of thing. But, yeah. It's not too massive, it's not too chunky. Ooh, what the hell? Ooh, I, I quite like that. <laughs> so, disco lights. Disco. Yes, I am old. <laughs> yeah, I quite like that. I quite like that. They, that they got these, the colour lights are actually moving around. And the, the sort of like, the colour of the lights do match very closely to what the coloured book actually is. So uh, that's a funky little detail. I quite like that funky little detail. Yeah. And then if we go and then we just we just go go we just got outside the go to. Alright, so just to wanted to turn the day time so it could bring a bit of light out just to see what we've got out here and obviously we've got plenty of pots full of fertile soil so we obviously you can grow some of your alchemical ingredients if you want to. And then you just got a nice little seating area. Yeah, nothing crazy, but it's just a place where you got a bit more fertile soil out here. You can, you know, grow a bit of your stuff. And you got a little bit of a view of there. It's a bit very foggy. It's a very foggy day today, apparently. <laughs> but, you know, it's there. You know, so you got to have a bit of a view and then bosh. Yeah. So, yeah, the outside is a bit crazy, but it's there. And it's dead to be used. But yeah, so that's gonna be it basically for this one really. This is it so this that's kinda of basically it for the solitude sorcerer's loft. And yeah. It's nicely it's nicely designed, nice and simple, easy to easy to make your area get yourself around because it's very, very small. So in, in you know, you don't you're not gonna have to worry about getting lost somewhere or not trying to remember where something was put. Every, all the storage is all nicely decorated and designed and placed and all the placements is all placed so it's all nice and tidy, utilizing the space that was made for it. Or not. A, a nice a nice little house house mod that in the capital city. So yeah. Again, this was Solitude Sorcerer's Loft by Amy Loves Cake. And as always, there will be a link in the description below to the mod itself. If you want to have you know, have a look at it yourself, or if you want to add it to your add it to your game, because you're thinking, you know what, I I I like the players as as a mage, uh, but I don't, you know, because you're role playing, you know, so you want to play as a mage, but you don't you don't like living at the college. He's like, eh. Lights! Camera! Action! Alright, here we are with mod number two. Now, as the, uh, basically the shot before the, 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 the tile card kind of suggested, uh, yeah, slight change of plan. Uh, because unfortunately, the one, the mod, the house mod I was trying to get to work, there were some crashing issues. Uh, I think it's just, 
I think there is probably I think it's more so likely something on my end because I am running quite a lot of mods, so it might it might just been struggled, you know, struggling a little bit with it. So we I've had a little a little look, and I found my I found two more. Here's Nizine got no clothes. Oh, I know why Nadine ain't got gold clothes. I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna say why, but I know what I know why he doesn't have any clothes. Okay, so that's something I actually need no, I don't actually need to look in actually. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, that's for something for me to sort that. Not not you you lot don't have to worry about that. You just let me worry about that. Anyway, on to the mod. So for now, the new mod number two, we will be looking at a soldier's house remodeled. Now, this mod was also done by Amy Loves Cake, and as the talk suggests, it's well, it says what it says on the tin. It's basically it's they basically reworked a soldier's house a little bit in the inside, just made some little minor changes here and there, and this that and the other. So we're going to go and have a look, but first, but you know, I kind of need to break in. Nice. Now that we've broken in. And yeah, so you can tell that it's definitely a little bit different. It's a bit dark, it's a bit darkish in here. Uh, it might just be lighting, but you know, it's, it's got that kind of gloomy look. And a gloomy look isn't always that bad, but it might also be partially because of one of the retextures mods I've got running as well. My sort of messed around with the lighting a little bit. Wow, darker wood kind of thing. So it's, it will it will look a bit darker. Uh, but all in all, you know, again, you still have the basic stuff of all the stuff that you need. You know, so you got your alchemy lab, you got an arcane enchanter, you got some fancy looking storage, you got. Storage for your wines and your meats, uh, storage for individual kind of foods. So you got your baked goods, you got your cheese, you got your produce, your cooked foods. You know, uh, soup. That respawns, respawning soup. You know, so you got all your kind of stuff for that. And then, oh, you know, and you got other like uh, uncooked meats and fish and this, that, and the other. So very homely looking, very homely storage. It looks very nice. So obviously, yeah, this was obviously the same person who also made the Solitude Sorcerer's Loft. And so obviously they've gone for that same kind of setup. In a way, the same mechanic and functionality as that. Just within a soulless house instead. Because obviously, t sometimes when you more obviously marry one of the NPCs in the game, uh, you know, you get you you get the the option to either move in, move them into the house that you own, or you move into the house that they live in. And obviously, so they decided to redecorate it. And I like what they've done. You know, it's a bit hard to see, so I think lighting could have been probably a tiny bit brighter in some areas. But that's just me. But apart from, but from what I can see, and yeah, I like it. I like how it looks. Very nice, tidy and function, tidy and functional. But it's okay. But so I'm gonna leave that one from here because it's not much else really to see. It's just a small little you know, change to your soldier's house. There we go. Yeah. So this was a soldier's house remodel. Once again, also by Amy Loves Cake. And of course, there will be a link in the description below to this module itself. If you want to have add it to your game, basically. Alright, so we're going to move on to the final mod. Which, for this, we need to go halfway up High Hrothka. Well, basically, halfway up the mountain. Alright, and here we are with the final mod of the video. Which, this is Halfway Hrothka. Now this is the snowy edition. There's two versions of this. You got the original version and you have snowy edition. Literally the only difference between the two 
is that story edition the shack has snow on the roof whereas the original version just has there's no snow on the roof so do apart from that from what I seen in the descriptions there are, are no other differences it's, it's most likely if, if somebody's going to have a bit of snow on it it's going to have a bit of snow on it after that they're exactly the same so it doesn't really matter too, too much which one you do if you want more realistic more realism then you would go for the snow edition which is the one that i've gone for it's i've gone for the snow edition and this but but I've, got, I've also forgot to mention who this is actually made by. Uh, so this was made by Technica. And so yeah, what it basically does is when you're going up the mountain, oh gee, you know you come into this area here where at the, when the first time you come up here, there's always that troll, you know, the frost troll. Uh, so basically. You come into that this sort of like crevice gully thing here and there's this little tiny shack and it you know it has some it looks like it has some of the basic stuff so you know you got a tanning rack for your tanning uh you got a few bits of pieces try the back of sauce a few bits of bobs to take from here uh cooking pot troll sling you know it's literally just like a little halfway house uh, you know, so there's no deep functionality or deep lore behind it or anything like that. It's just a little halfway house up the mountain. And um, yeah, so it's nothing incredibly detailed. Yeah, again, it's nothing incredibly detailed about it or about that. It's just a, a, a little, little shack. But there is this sword, which is the obviously it's still sword, sword of Burling, which. In regards to the troll, is a useful thing because obviously trolls are weak to fire. But yeah, so that's it really. There's not much else to really talk about on this one. I mean, like, so what functionality does it have? In the ways, if if you're playing the game as the game kind of thing, it doesn't really have any functionality. Really, <laughs> you know, but I don't know. Maybe you, maybe one day you might decide to take out your sword for no apparent reason. No, um, you might decide to role play. You know, role play is a hermit who lives on the mountain. You know, does it get along with people? Stays away from people. Only comes down from the mountain when he needs to. Otherwise, he otherwise he just stays up the mountain. I know. Then this kind of shack, a kind of idea, could actually then become useful for that kind of immersion role play. But yeah, but apart from that, there isn't that much else to say about it. Don't worry, we'll take the sword. Then you know, I might sell it, get a bit of money for it. Why not? But yeah, so that's it. So this was halfway Rothka, the snowy edition by Technica. And once again, there are two versions of this. Uh, if I if I decide to, I'll put I'll put a link in the description to both of them. If not, it would just be the snow edition because to me that's the one that makes a bit more sense for people to add to their game. Just on the premise of because it's on top, it's on a snowy mountain, it will be covered in snow. But that's about it. But right, so that is it for this video. So yeah, so so we had a bunch of small, some small player homes, uh, but yeah, you know, small but simple. But each one, the design wise, was absolutely fine. They all look, you know, they all serve their purpose. They all work. Basically, they all work. Work absolutely fine and dandy. No, no, no problems apart from the one that I couldn't get working. <laughs> there was a problem with that one, apparently, though. Ugh. But you know, and all suited to different role playing styles. It just all depends on what you would want to role play at. 
But if you did enjoy this video, why not leave a like? And um, also, why not subscribe to your channel where you can get to see more videos of Mods and Skyrim that I've showcased. Uh, and um, I have the entire playlist, uh, or basically of Skyrim and Reavers did. You've got the entire playlist there, which is just full of videos of basically me showing off mods for Skyrim. But specifically for PS4, I haven't jumped onto doing PC mods yet or Xbox mods. Uh, primarily because Xbox, I don't have the recording for the, on that, it's a bit of a pain in the ass. And PC, OBS is just being a part of shit at the moment. <laughs> so, uh. But anyway, so you can also find in, in the description below a link to my Discord. Where on there you can ask me mods about... You can ask me mods? Yes. No, you can ask me questions about modding. Or mod, or some, if there's any particular mod in general you want to ask about, uh, or if you're trying to find a particular mod or anything like that, you can find me on, you can let me know on Discord there. And if I can't give you an answer, possibly someone on my Discord can give you an answer. You can also leave me more suggestions on there for future videos, as well as you can do that in the comments below as well if you want to. Uh, you can also keep keep up to date with what mods I'm working on. Now, now how you have currently in the works. If you are curious, basically. But, yeah. So, again, there will be a link to do my Discord in the description below. There will be links to all the mods featured in this video below as well. So, enough of me waffling on like an old man. So until next time, I'll see you all later.